Hi friends, it's Miss Timey from the Ocean City Public Library and I am here for another seashore story time. So it is a beautiful day here in Ocean City and I am hoping that if we sing for her, Annie will swing by. Will you help me sing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, here we go. Where is Annie? Where is Annie? Here she is. Here she is. We're so glad to see you. We're so glad to see you. Wave hello. Wave hello. And Annie's here. Oh my goodness, she has a full, full wing load. She's saying hello to everybody at home. She's flapping her wings. That's how she says hello. All right, let's see what she brought for us today. Can you tell what that is? The moon, right? All right, so we have the moon. Oh, look what else. The sun. Oh, there's something else. A star. And there's one more. Can you tell what that is? A planet. I think we're talking all about outer space today, and we're especially going to talk about the moon because the moon is so is is close to us. So. I think we'll start with a song. So we're going to pretend we're going to go out in space today. Will you pretend with me? You may know the song, The Farmer in the Dell, The Farmer in the Dell. We're going to take that tune, switch the words around, and we're going to sing, I'm going out in space, I'm going out in space, I think I'll see the moon out there, I'm going out in space. And we'll do some other things too. Are we ready? Here we go. Going out in space, I'm going out in space. I think I'll see the moon out there. I'm going out in space. Good job, are you ready? I'm going out in space, I'm going out in space. I think I'll see the sun out there. I'm going out in space. What's next? I'm going out in space, I'm going out in space. I think I'll see a star out there. I'm friends. So today I'm going to read the book Moon, Earth's Best Friend. This is written by Stacy McAnulty and it's illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Moon, Earth's Best Friend. Look up, look up, look up. It's me, Moon. I'm Earth's best friend. Where Earth goes, I go. We have been together since the beginning. Almost. Let me tell you our story. Once upon a time, about 4.5 billion years ago, a space rock the size of Mars crashed into baby Earth. Big ol' mess. Pieces of rock, chunks of Earth, and even lava were blasted into space. This crash trash came together to make me a satellite. Actually, I'm Earth's only natural satellite. Natural means not created by Earthlings. Satellite, I circle the Earth. She has thousands of human-made satellites too. They're mostly metal and plastic, not exactly best friend material. Guess that makes me Earth's number one real sidekick. It takes me 27.3 days to go around Earth once. It also takes me 27.3 days to spin once. Means I'm dependable. My face always smiles at Earth. You never see my backside. But you probably noticed I look different every night. Fun, right? Check out my phases. So sometimes we see the whole moon, the full moon right? And sometimes we see only a little smile of the moon, a crescent moon like here. And sometimes the moon's really tricky to see at night, like a new moon. Some other planets have best friends too. I am moon, but I'm not the only moon in the solar system. So these planets, Jupiter and Jupiter's moons, Neptune has moons, Saturn, 
Mars has a couple moons, Uranus. Of all the moons, I'm fifth biggest. I'll always be Earth's pal, but that doesn't mean we're twinsies. She's bigger, four times bigger. And her gravity is six times stronger. Gravity is the invisible force that makes an apple fall to the ground instead of flying up into the sky. A cow that weighs 600 pounds on Earth would weigh only 100 pounds on me. Speaking of cows, Earth has cows and nursery rhymes and nursery rhymes starring cows, but a cow has never jumped over me. I'm too far away for even a kangaroo to make that leap. Average distance between Earth and me, 238,855 miles. You could fit 30 Earths in that distance and probably a gazillion cows. BFFs help each other out. I keep Earth from being too wobbly. This might be the most important thing I do and you probably didn't even know about it. With me, gentle spinning, my gravity at work. Without me, topsy-turvy. Don't worry, moon gazers, you're never without me. I don't disappear during the day. I'm always here for Earth. You just can't see me when it's super bright out or when it's cloudy or when I'm on the other side of Earth. I can prove I'm always here. Check out the ocean tides. We know about that in the summer in Ocean City, right? Yeah. High tide happens twice a day. Low tide happens twice a day. That's gravity again. My gravity pulling on Earth's oceans. I have the best views of Earth, and Earth has the best views of me. But some Earthlings wanted to see me up close. I'm the only other place in the universe where man has set foot. And I do mean man. I'm still waiting for my first female astronaut. I've had 12 moonwalkers and a few left footprints. And some of those footprints are still here. No wind or rain or snow to mess them up. Other things you won't find on me. Oxygen. Mosquitoes, which is a good thing, I think. Plants, animals, including cows, liquid waste. Things you will find on me. Rocks, really big rocks. More rocks, nail clippers, a golf ball, a falcon feather, a hammer, the American flag. Presents, these are presents from Earth. Stuff left behind by untidy astronauts. Earth and I have so much fun together, like when we play Eclipse. Solar Eclipse, I hide sun for a few minutes. We play this during the day. Lunar Eclipse, Earth's shadow passes over me. We play this at night. I'm always here for Earth. I'm always here for you. Where Earth goes, I go. And where Earth goes, you go. Guess that makes us best friends too. And if you ever check this book out at the library, there is a fun game, Two Truths and a Myth with Moon, in the back. Okay, so we're going to pretend to take a trip to the moon, but before we leave, what should we wear? We want to dress like astronauts, so we need our astronaut boots on. So let's put our boots on. What should we have on our hands? Gloves. Gloves. Let's put our astronaut gloves on. And then what do we need on our head? A helmet. Our astronaut helmet. So we're gonna sing the song if you're happy and you know we clap your hands. But we're switching the words. We're gonna sing if you're going to the moon, wear your boots, stomp stomp. And then we're gonna sing if you're going to the moon, wear your gloves, clap clap. And then the last verse, if you're going to the moon, wear your helmet, and we'll give it a nod nod. And it's um, if we're going to the moon, this is what you have to do if you're going to the moon. All right, we ready? Going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon, this is what you have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. All right, get your gloves on. You ready? If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, this is what you 
ready to go to the moon. Now, we, how are we going to get to the moon? We need a rocket ship. Oh, we need a rocket ship. All right, so we're going to climb into our rocket ship. You guys climb into your rocket ship at home. We have the point up here. And we're going to say this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. And then we're going to count backwards from 10. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And what do we say? Blast off! And give a big jump. Should we do it one more time? All right, get back in your, in your rocket ships. Here we go. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Good job. Today's puppet show is Who's Awake at Night, written by Timmy Kelly. Ooh. Oh, look at the moon. It is beautiful tonight. Oh, and look at all the stars, too. I wish I had a friend to help me count them, but I think everyone is fast asleep in their beds. The moon is out. The stars are bright. Who else is awake tonight? Wait a minute. What's that smell? Hello, owl. How are you on this fine night? Oh, hi, skunk. What are you doing up? I'm awake during the night, just like you. Aren't the stars especially bright tonight? Oh, yes, they are. I was just thinking that I wish I had a friend that would help me count them with me. Oh, I love to count. Can I help? Sure. Maybe our friends can help too out there. Will you help us count? Yes? Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There are five stars. Oh, thanks for counting with me, everyone. Well, have a great night, Owl. Goodbye. Goodbye, Skunk. I guess I'm not the only one awake after all. Wow, I can't believe there are five stars up in the sky tonight. It makes me want to sing twinkle twinkle little star but i would rather sing it with a friend the moon is out the stars are bright who else is awake tonight hi owl oh hi possum are you awake at night too i sure am i'm busy looking for food tonight did you see all the stars in the sky yes I was just saying that I would love to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Would you like to sing it with me? Oh, sure. Hey, why doesn't everyone sing with us? Oh, that's a great idea. Will you guys sing at home? Yes? Okay, let's all sing together. Ready? Here we go. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are well that was fun i better keep looking for food though goodbye owl goodbye possum Thanks for singing with us. Well, I think there's just one more thing to do on a night with a lot of stars in the sky. I want to make a wish on a star, but I don't want to make a wish all by myself. The moon is out. The stars are bright. Who else is awake tonight? Hello, Owl. Why? Hello, Bat. What are you doing up? I'm awake at night, just like you. I've been flying around enjoying the bright moon and the beautiful stars. I was just saying I would like to make a wish on a star. Oh, I would love to make a wish on a star, too. Okay, let's wish together. 
Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. Did you make your wish? You're not supposed to say it out loud. I did. What about you? I sure did. Hey, do you want to fly with me over to the pond and maybe we can see the reflection of the moon in the water? That's a great idea. Let's go. Thank you for your help, friends. Maybe you'll be able to see the moon tonight and wish on a star, too. Goodbye.